I want to go back to school so that I have an excuse to spend hundreds of hours researching and writing a full-length dissertation on the Connect BTS project. Because the Connect BTS project is the most amazing thing ever. I love art. I love all art. I love books, and I love film, and I love music, and I love painting, and I love dance, and I love sculpture, and it's the reason I love K-pop. I know a lot of people don't love contemporary art, but I do, so allow me to make an argument for it. You probably know this painting, Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. But what is this painting? A portrait of a rather plain woman? I'm not really a fan, to be honest. I don't consider it a masterpiece. I actually think the painting is quite ugly. Basically, 100% of the reason the Mona Lisa is famous is not because it's da Vinci's greatest work, but because it's been stolen a whole bunch of times, therefore gaining a lot of news media attention in the 1900s. As a result, its modern-day meaning is entirely different from what it was 500 years ago. It's maybe funny, or mysterious, or monotonous, or impressive. It's not a painting of a plain woman anymore, because the people who view it don't think of it that way. And this is what contemporary art is like. It's not about the art, it's about everyone who views it, and the meaning you derive from it. It's about you, it's about me. The goal is to make you feel something, and maybe make you feel the same thing as someone else. And so even if you look at contemporary art and you feel confused, or pissed off, or kind of like you're not smart enough to appreciate it, or you just flat out don't care. It worked, and someone else felt that way too. You have this irreversible experience that is both shared and deeply personal, and it wouldn't have happened if you never saw that art. From this perspective, I think contemporary art is a very effective agent for connection. The interpretation of the art is less limited and certain, while still allowing for shared experience amongst its viewers. It's kind of like music. There's a general unifying purpose to it, but each individual's experience with it is unique. Unfortunately, by the very nature of contemporary art, it tends to have some pretty big boundaries that prevent new people from seeking it out. Within the realm of art fanatics, people typically either love or hate contemporary art. But outside this niche population, the average person tends to just not really give a shit about contemporary art. And I think this is a real shame, and a lot of people could actually find quite a lot of added value to their lives by experiencing this kind of art. And this is really the reason I love the Connect BTS project so much. I love the installations themselves, I love the meanings behind the pieces, but more so, I love this expansion and utilization of contemporary art within other communities. The Connect BTS project is a masterful example of creative collaboration, and how that collaboration can add meaning and shape to the art itself. Viewing this art as a BTS fan is a completely different experience than viewing this art as a non-BTS fan. You're going to have different ideas about what this art means to you and how valuable it is. By creating this project and alluding that BTS and their content play into the framework of these contemporary art pieces, it creates a whole new level to the art that wasn't there before. BTS is a part of this art, and so are their fans. And if you love BTS, it presents an avenue to appreciate and love this art, even if you don't understand it. This is a genius, truly beautiful, and really significant project that is not only drastically innovative for K-pop, but also for the field of contemporary art and the landscape of artistic collaboration as a whole. Artistic collaboration and inspiration happens all the time. You could even argue that it's the core starting point for all art. I've seen plenty of other musicians make use of other artists' work in their content, and the referencing of outside art happens all the time in K-pop. But BTS has done so much more. They've taken the integration of conceptual art in K-pop to a whole new unprecedented level. BTS, Big Hit, Daehyung Lee, and the contemporary artists who contributed to the Connect BTS project deserve massive amounts of respect and congratulations for the amazing art that they've created.
but I personally believe that they deserve even more recognition for all the people they got to go look at it and connect with it. Sometimes K-pop is a song, and sometimes K-pop is a dance, and sometimes K-pop is a giant twisty aluminum sculpture in New York City. And I love it. There are two kinds of metal in this yard, scrap and art. If you gotta eat one of them, eat the scrap. What you currently have in your mouth is art! Art? 